Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 67 of Europa Universalis 4 as Arabia. I just forgot who I was playing as for a moment there. Uh, we are currently still at war with Spain, although they are just protecting somebody else. We are going to uh, basically carry on sieging people out. And uh, yeah, I should be able to get the, the provinces that I need from Spain. Uh, let me just have a quick look at those other provinces to make sure that we, we're going to have uh, all of the ones that we need. So... Cordoba, uh, Messina, Palermo are all owned by Spain. Uh, Samarkand is owned by Taxiana, but then there's Ifni. Who owns Ifni? Um, we will need to take that as well. Ifni is actually owned by Morocco. That's not a problem. We can get down to that. Um, we do have a free diplomat. You're building a spy network in Jam. Uh, let's go ahead and get some claims over here then. We might as well. I might as well fill you up with claims. Excellent. Let's bring you back from Jam. Let's go and start getting a um, spy network over here on Morocco. Excellent. Now then, we've got these. Where is the rest of that um, Spanish army gone? Let's actually just go and get that on the way over. We might as well. Not too sure where their army's gone. They may be heading over in this direction. Um, you're only on 92%. That's mainly because you don't have a siege leader there with you. Um, let's move you back out. Let's get you a siege leader. We don't need John. Uh, we can probably go and put... Who did we have there before? Was it? Let's get Afro. Afro's got three siege. You'll do. Now then, Austria seems to be mobilizing a lot of troops. Who are you at war with? You're at war with the Ottomans. So this isn't good. Um... Austria's probably going to take whatever the Ottomans have left around here, which is a little bit annoying. Um, although I only really want this stuff, so I'm not too bothered. Uh, do we still have our truce? We do. Uh, we can take um, an extra merchant, which we don't really need, and I have no idea where we're going to put the guy. Um, I guess we're probably soon going to be controlling a, a bit of this down here. Oh, our navy's been engaged. We need to get out of that. Um, I guess we could probably transfer trade power down there. So we get the power back upstream. Don't know why I'm gesturing with my hands because you can't see it. Now then, these guys have an admiral. We do have more... He right, they're mostly transports, to be honest. We have more heavies. We have more lights than they do. Double the number of heavies. We have just lost a couple. Um, I appear to be losing more ships than they do. Their heavies are going down, though. Right, there's a big 50-something K stack there. We need to move in on that. And we need to get you guys down into that as quick as you can as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'm not too keen on how this naval encounter is going. Um, they only have two heavies left, though. They're now down to a single heavy. Uh, we won that encounter, which is good. Let's get the forced march off. Let's put you back in Toledo. Let's get you over here in Valencia. They seem to have got a reinforcement from somewhere, but they still only have one heavy. If we could sink that one heavy, that'd be fantastic. They've got a lot of lights, though. And we're losing a lot of heavies as well. Let's just go and dock up. That was painful. Lost a lot of ships there. Although the ships aren't that important, so I don't care too much. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a um, wall breach. Let's keep our eye on things. We're just going to have to like not worry about the Ottomans for the moment. Um, we also need to keep our eye on what's happening down here. Because we do need to keep sieging this. I don't even know if they've got any men left down there. Or whether we've already taken them all out. Um, and we need to keep our eye on what's happening in Italy. So here we go. Sort of as expected. They have managed to sort of get in behind us. Uh, you're not movement locked, but we might catch you there. So if we do get the opportunity to um, reduce their troop numbers, that'll be great. Fantastic. Let's move you back down here. Now, we, you're not forced marching, so that's fine. They're probably going to go all the way south. Let's go ahead and pay for a wall breach. So, 
Spain. Right, Spain have got another 50 stack over here. They... Looks like we can probably get a... No, we can't catch you there. We can catch you. Now then, this could be a little bit of a problem. They do have a three-star general, and we're about to engage them. It looks like it might go my way, but they, they do have some men around to reinforce, and they are reinforcing. I really didn't want to give up that 28%, um, but let's go ahead and move in there if we can get there. We might just be too late, actually. But we were too late. We were just too late. However... We did manage to catch the uh, 13k stat that was behind them. Right, so let's go ahead and ignore the big stack for now. And just go around and start wiping these guys out. Now then, um, let's go and grab this stack. You've got a long way to march back, but we're a little bit short of men down here now. And Spain, Spain have got a few too many. Uh, we've already paid for the wall breach down there, so that's fine. Should just use the minimap here, it's probably a lot quicker. So yeah, we will get Spain out of this, but we do need to go ahead and get that fort. Um, you guys can probably safely march out of here, so that's what you're going to do. Uh, we are getting the call for peace now. Let's go ahead and spend this. We are getting the call for peace. That's fine. Uh, you've got a lot of ships around, that's also fine. So you're escaping, that's okay. Yeah, I don't like that 40 stat being there, although... Um, am I even bothered about that? Let's just go... This is the three-star general, and they haven't got any men close enough to reinforce. So if we just move into there, we should be able to grab that army without too much of a problem. Um, lose the stability or lose the national tax modifier. We've got plenty of money. Let's just go and do that. We're going to attack their army again. Can't see what's going on because England's in the way. John's giving them a good kick in. So let's go and start sieging our way back up there. Excellent. So what we want to do... We're going to keep sieging this out. Um, oh, they've started another colony there. That is interesting. Um, let's hire a mercenary and then we'll go and take the colony back. Um, and just keep wasting their own money is basically what we're going to do. Right, they've got another... Let's um, let's just detach a, a couple of units. Um, keep the siege going. We'll take the rest and we'll just... Can we just not march over there and, and murder them? No. Okay, fine. We'll have to stay here then. That's a little bit annoying that we're being blocked by this. So we do have a wall breach, so it, it's, it's going rather slowly. Spain do want to peace out at this point, though. Spain, Spain are basically done right now. Um... Let's go ahead and, and move a little bit forwards. We can always go and build a... Um, to reinforce. How can we see the, the areas? If we grab Toledo... We'll probably grab Toledo and go and put a... Um, the building, whatever it's called, that allows you to reinforce more quickly. Not really bothered about this at all. Let's move you guys up so we've got some potential reinforcements there. I'm not even bothered about the call to peace at the moment. Right, you guys are actually marching out now. Can I catch you if I force march? Yes. So it's only an 11k stack, but I mean, if we can do some significant damage to it... Let, let's just keep smashing their armies where we can. Um, so, that was good. Right, okay, they've got a lot of units down here again now. Now, they should get blocked by their own fort. Let's just go ahead and put these armies together. There's no point me taking this land because I don't really need it. But what we do need to do is is to stop their armies, really. We've got manpower, they don't. This is what we've got going for us right now. Um, Foundation Afro can no longer serve us. That is unfortunate. Okay, we did win that. Let's split half of you up and go and take that back. 
Um, now, Afro, I believe, was our general over here. So let's go ahead and um, take the three stack. We need to get ourselves a new general. Can't remember what Foundation Afro's number was. Can we see it down here? Is it in the log? Um, oh, it's going to be right down at the bottom, isn't it? Um, nope, can't see it. Can't remember what your number was, but we'll 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 create a new one. So you are going to get. We've actually lost two leaders with the look of things. Uh, Game of Cowboy Lucas. Who have we lost? Was it Harden again? Um, Foundation Afro. Can't remember your number, so you're just going to be Foundation Afro. You are a one-one. You got a lot of maneuver, but you do have some siege, which is all that's important right now. So let's go and move you in over here. We really need to get this siege done as quick as possible. Uh, lost an advisor. Our truce with the Ottomans has ended now. We could just go ahead and take that. Um, wow, the uh, Austrians even occupied the stuff down here. How did they even get in? Because I didn't give them open borders. Which is a little bit annoying. Hopefully Austria won't take all of that. Otherwise we might, uh, we might have to fight Austria to get rid of the border goal. We can, however, now safely march down here. These are the two provinces that we need to siege out. Those are the important ones. We've lost our military guy. Morale of armies every day of the week. We might even try and take the whole island down here if we get the opportunity to do that. Now, Spain may try and block us, which is exactly what they've done here. Um, let's go ahead and use our navy and get over here just so that we can get through. Now, we will engage their navy on the way out, which was to be expected. Now then, um, we do still have more heavies. Just lose a bit of prestige there. Can we get out of this, maybe? They are down to a single heavy. Can't believe... Right, they've lost all their heavies now. We're losing a fair... Um, oh, no, no, that was us. They're, they're the ones with all the heavies. Wow, I miss, I misread the interface completely there. Uh, let's go and get over, over here. Because we need, we need to get down here. Um, this is going to be an expensive war, isn't it? Right, naval units. Let's get as many as we can. Because we need to try and take these guys on now. Yeah, they've got, they've got a lot of navy there. Let's get you over in this direction. But we need to take the fort. I don't think this fort is going to count as being close enough. Um, we can certainly look and see if it is. Let's have a quick look. So if we want to sue for peace, we want this fort. Yeah, they instantly won't give us that because we don't have a fort in the nearby area. So we need to take that fort. More than anything else, we've got to take that fort. Um, they've they've just got too many ships around here, though, which is going to make life difficult for us. That's that's a real problem. Their na their navy is a little bit too huge, and this navy is kind of stuck. This navy ca we can't we still can't even get around um, Africa with this navy. I mean, it's mostly lights anyway, but um, yeah, we can't get here because we haven't just uh, uncovered the cape. Which is really annoying. So we're going to have to build a lot more ships. Um, I don't, I'm not even bothered about the war exhaustion. I just want to get this done. Let's go ahead and get some... Um, some heavies. We may be in this war for a while. But we're, we're certainly... Oh, right. They've, see, they've got one ship there at the moment. One ship, but I don't have anything nearby, so I can't do anything about it. Austria have pieced out. They've taken a bit of extra stuff up here. So... But I can't really afford... I mean, I could easily beat the Ottomans. The Ottomans have got nothing right now. So I could easily move a, a spare stack up there and beat the Ottomans. In fact, we could even do it with... Uh, oh, you were going to go and steal the colony. Um, we could easily move up with the Ottomans and, and deal with that. I don't think I need to have this 40 stack here anymore. So let's take you back over towards the Ottomans and, and we'll see if we can... 
I don't know. We'll we'll see how this is going to work out. Uh, we have occupied something here. Uh, let's go and grab that. Let's go and hopefully get lucky here and see if we can pay. Gamer Cowboy the Fifth can no longer serve us. No, oh, right. Gamer Cowboy the Fifth was over here. Let's go and detach a couple of units. And, uh, well, let's grab that. We'll grab this on the way. And then we'll get Gamer Cowboy the Sixth. In the meantime, yeah, problems with the Navy. Getting across here is going to be tricky. Um, we're being blockaded. It's annoying that they're holding this. It's really stopping me getting across. Um, did, did they move some, try and move some units into Valencia or something? That was a little daft. Looks like they tried to do it again there as well. Right, okay. So, you guys can now get a new general. And this is going to be Gamer Cowboy the 6th. Gamer Cowboy the 6th. Oh. It's big capital. There we go. And you are a 5452. It's pretty decent. Let's move you in there. Now, the ships are still repairing. We'll allow that to continue. Yes, I know you want peace, but you won't give me the peace that I want. So tough. We need to take that fort. We've got... Ooh. Ooh. Hang on. Ah, damn it. They had. I thought for a moment there they didn't have a ship in it. They they'd moved the ship out, but then they've moved in again. So that's unfortunate. They've got one ship in there right now, just a single ship. Unfortunately, because of this blockade, I can't get through. I can't get these ships out. But yeah, there's just one ship. If they move that ship out at any point, I might be able to, to hop across. They're also moving in with a huge army here. This is, this is going to be annoying because I can't get across here now. And their capital's getting sieged out, and they don't seem to care. I might just have to peace out and take what I can get. And then try and get some more stuff from them later. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's, let's take what we can. We're going to sue for peace. They won't give us that anyway. They'll give us that, because we've already got it occupied. Um, let's see what we can take. Right, we need to take this, because we've got a mission for it. We need to take Cordoba, so they won't give us Granada. Why not? Uh, demands exceed war score. Of course, they're not co-belligerized at this point. We could take both of those. That does get us closer to it, and we don't need to take Gibraltar. We can't take Granada. We need to take it. We need to take Granada if we want Cordoba, though. Um, so let's say we take those two. Then that gives us control of the Strait. And we can get both of those provinces, which will help us get in across there later on. Um, Palermo. We can actually take Palermo. Let's just wait a little bit, because we are about to get some more forts. And that'll give us a significant bit more war score. It's going to take them a while to take anything back there. So if we can get more war score, it'll help out. Um... We're not, we're not actually even bothered about the colony down here. Right, you are going to burn that colony. And then we're just going to disband you. Yeah, we're not, we're not bothered about Spanish East Africa at all. So that, that is fine. Uh, you've still got me blocked. It will give me a chance to rebuild my navy. But yeah, that fort's not going to fall for a while. And they can't get past it. They're going to have the same problem that I did. They're stuck behind it. I just wish they'd move all of these shit. Oh, hang on. Hang on. If we're quick enough, we probably won't. Nah. They just got that one stack in there too quickly. And my ships are taking too long to build. And that's that annoying one down there stopping me from getting out. But we've got a little bit of time. We've got, we've got some time to, get, to try and get this done. Um... They've moved out again with the look of things. We might get across here if we're lucky. Can we do it? No, again, that one stat. They're, they're cycling them around in such a way that they've always got one ship kind of in, in the way. Uh, let's go up here and see if we can take another fort. Anything that'll give us a little bit more uh, war score. Um, so yeah, we still don't have enough war score to take this. 
We're at 39%. Actually, what would that give us in terms of um, overextension, aggressive expansion? Not much, actually. Overextension is negligible. So we could certainly wait. I wish I had the ships to try and force them out of there. Just so that we could get across. They're, they're doing it again. They're moving out. It just takes us so much time. 9th of March. No, and they just blocked. They always just seem to have a ship there that can move in. This is this is still slowing them down, though. We're still blocked in there. Um, let's go ahead and pay for another um, wall breach. This is at 28%. That's not falling anytime soon. Again, they've moved out. You're going to get back in three days. You're just moving backwards and forwards, which is the annoying thing about it. So, we're really just going to have to peace out. And um, you're actually moving back out of there, which is interesting. You're not going to be able to undo the siege now. You've just moved all of your ships out. Once again, I very much doubt that we'll have the speed... Um, to get across. Nope. Again, that ship just comes out of nowhere and blocks us every time. Um, let's hope we can get this quickly. Come on, give us a lucky roll for once. No, 49% though. War exhaustion is high. Uh, Lucas Campbell the third can no longer serve us. Where were you, Lucas? Um, I don't even know which army you were in charge of. Uh... Probably this one. We need to go and sort these guys out. So I think that was Lucas Campbell the uh, third. Lucas Campbell the uh, fourth. Oh, no, that's not right. <laughs> the fourth. There we go. You're actually pretty decent. You're going to go over there and, and give those guys a bit of a, a bit of a kicking. We've got to get out of this war soon now. We can't we can't afford to hang around in this this much longer. Um, we'll still hang on and see if we can get their capital. That'll give us an awful lot more war score, which will be really useful for us to take some extra stuff. And I know we're not taking nearly as much stuff as we need, but it'll make subsequent wars easier, which is what we're aiming to do here. Again, he's moving some ships out, but no doubt... Yep, yeah, that ship's there. As soon as I try and move, it reappears. He just keeps moving it backwards and forwards, and it moves much quicker than the army does, unfortunately. Come on, 64%. Still at 64%. That was not good at all. Game's just trolling me at the moment. This navy... Oh, that's that's a big, big, na a big engagement coming in right there. We might lose that one. Ouch. It does look like it is... Well, it, it was going in our favour and then we got a couple of bad rolls. And we're going to lose that battle. Unfortunate. Right. Let's just give this one more tick. See if we get it. See if we get lucky. No, we've got a defender's desert. They're not going anywhere, though. So we can probably afford to wait. Let's move towards mysticism. Because we've got plenty of money. Come on, just, just get just get to 100% and, and fall before the, the army gets here. That's all we need. Uh, you guys have moved all the way down there, have you? Well, let's go ahead and try and grab you. Just, right, we've got all of our ships now, but they're all kind of stuck. So we're not going to move them out one at a time. They'll all just get murdered. So, come on, let me have it. There we go, we've got their capital. That gives us a lot more war score. Let's wait till the end of the month. Because you always do better in another month. Okay, we're into October. Right, now we're going to have a look and see what we can take. Sue for peace. So we can get that... Get that and that. That'll make it a lot easier to get Messina. That gives us one of the other provinces that we need. And it gives us a sort of a better control of the strait here. I think we take that. It's not quite as much as I wanted. But it will certainly make everything a bit easier for us. So we've got to take that. Completes our mission as well. Um, let's go ahead and do the coring. So, we do have a few armies here that are um, a bit busted up. Let's go ahead and bring these guys back. Um, you, I think this army can actually stay here, ready for the next war. Um, all of the ships, let's get all of these, um, let's get all of the navy back together. Um, we're really going to have to have a, a much better navy for dealing with uh, Spain the next time around, so that's fine. 
Uh, we didn't we didn't take any of this, but that's okay. We didn't we didn't really want to take any of that. Um, but we do want to try and sort of finish these guys off if we can. What we can probably do is um, we don't need to split the army up. Where are you actually moving to? And uh, we still want to go to war with the Ottomans as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can get these guys uh, dealt with. Yeah, you're not getting out of that one. There we go. Let's go ahead and split our army up and just try and grab some of this. Our war exhaustion is still dangerously high. Let's go ahead and, and pay to uh, reduce it a little bit. Um, we can take another mission. Rival of our rival is going to be France. We can probably do that. I mean, we are at war with Spain. So let's go ahead and try and improve our relations again. It's not massive at the moment. There's a fair bit of aggressive expansion there. We'll see what we can do. We might find a way of, of getting getting it high enough. Um, so yeah, we want to try and um, get rid of these guys if possible. Again, we won't be able to take everything because they've got far too much development, but we'll, we'll grab a bit of land. And then what we'll probably do is have a, another war against the Ottomans and just try and sort of take what they've got left, basically, at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, did I try and bring the rest of that fleet back? I think I did, didn't I? Yep, yeah, I ju I'd just kind of forgotten that I'd done that. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I just moved them into a different province. So we will need, need to build this uh, this navy back up. Let's just go... We don't need the galleys. Let's just go ahead and get those destroyed. Um, let's split off. We don't have... Um, well, we don't have any of the heavies yet. These are all just lights. Let's get this up to at least sort of um, 50 ships. Let's get 50 lights. We're going to go way over the limit. I don't care. We'll get 50 lights there. We've got plenty of money coming in. We're in a position to attack the Ottomans. Let's move around there. That'll make it a little bit easier. And, um, yeah, we're already well over the 20-minute mark, so we will leave this and uh, continue another time. Uh, let's go and just move, tell this army to move somewhere where they're not going to take quite as much attrition. And, uh, yeah, when we come back next time, we'll finish this war off and hopefully finish the Ottomans off once and for all. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4's Arabia. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.